Hey there guys, it's Pip here. Welcome to today's video. So today I just want to talk to you about valuing your time. Now, I know that you're looking at me and thinking, well Pip, you're quite young looking and you know you look like you've got plenty of time so don't worry about it too much. Here's the thing, and I don't wish to scare you, but um, I was listening to Dean Graziosi. Now Dean Graziosi is author of this book, Millionaire Success Secrets, uh, sorry, Millionaire Success Habits, so I apologise. Dean of course is a millionaire himself, came from quite a poor background, and um, I do feel free to research him, he's one of the great entrepreneurs, and um, I find this book very helpful, you can get it from the library. Um, and it's definitely a well recommended read. Now, time. Um, I was uh, watching something by Alex Becker. Again, Alex Becker is another entrepreneur. Um, but he was talking about how most people don't value the time. And I want to tie the two in, what Dean was talking about and what Alex Becker was talking about. Because um, what Dean Graciosi was doing was reading a book about um, the shortness of life. It's by uh, Seneca who was an ancient philosopher, been dead many years, um, but he's talking about how life is not short but we make it short and um, how about most people never get to where they really want to go because of um, there's eight reasons, eight different reasons including not knowing where you want to go, um, choosing to pursue meaningless activity, um, self-induced servitude to thankless others, um, or thankless tasks, uh, laziness, drink drugs and alcohol, um, going after no fixed goal he said was the one that got most people. Um, and um, Alex Becker taught me this little bit of trick which you may or may not find helpful but basically just, um, I don't know if you can see that there but this is a grid, so this is a grid of my life, the number of years that I have had and I haven't had. So this is actually divided into uh, enough squares to cover 60 years of age. So my dad died when he was 60. Um, if I'm lucky, I get to get to that point, you, you know, we don't know, do we? And um, hopefully I might be lucky enough, I really don't know. Um, it's obviously more important to live a good life than a long life. But this is what Alex wanted me to do. He said, colour in how far or how much you've had already. Now, if you can see this on the graph, you don't need to see in the individual squares, but you will notice that actually um, this is almost halfway filled in, so that's about the halfway line, and um, there's 30, and I'm here, so I'm 26 at the moment, um, so it's almost halfway gone, bit of a worry, and I still haven't learnt what to do with that time, so it was quite interesting to, to learn that, um, and it's not there to scare you, but it is something that is meant to really focus your mind. Now, please bear in mind, guys, that as I say, I don't know how long I'm going to live to. Um, you know, there could be many things that could happen. I could live well beyond the age of uh, what my dad did, which, as I say, was 60 years. Um, but it really makes you realise how much time has passed um, and um, possibly why we should value it a bit more. Now, of course, um, when you know where you want to go, which is the second point I want to make, you do value your time much more, so you cut out things that are not meaningful. Um, now, this is a painful thing to do. Okay, it's painful. You have to cut out people who, um, and I've had to do this, and it's been very, it is still very hard. It's something that I'm in the middle of doing. Um, letting go of people who you like, and are nice people but are not investing in you the way that you're investing in them that's difficult it's difficult because you have to be a little bit selfish which is something that I'm not really used to um, and it's hard to let go of someone who you do want things to work out with um, now I'm not saying that you should just quit everybody, I'm just saying that really look at your life. If someone is consistently not giving you the um, attention and investment that you deserve, it doesn't matter how much you like them, you have to cut them. And as I say, I know this is painful, I'm going through it um, myself. Um, I don't have many friends, but I do have some people in my life that actually um, are not as good for me as I would like them to be. Not because they don't, as I say, not because they're not nice people, but because 
they don't invest the time in me that I need um, to make that relationship really work or to really get any kind of mutual benefit from each other um, and it, it feels bad because um, for certain people I do feel like I've invested a lot of time and it's, it's disappointing um, but we mustn't divide our time up too liberally um, Dean talks about how uh, Dean Graziosi, who's, who's author of the um, Millionaire Success Habits, this book, there we go, who is a millionaire himself, and um, talks about, um, you know, how no one will divide up their money um, to everybody, but to how many people do we divide up our time? Um, the one thing that it's really right to be stingy of, because, you know, you can always earn back money, but you can't earn back time, and that's very precious. So. I really want you to think about that today. It's not always a great thing to think about because sometimes um, you do look at your life and I haven't certainly achieved what I'd like to achieve because I don't know what I want to achieve yet. And that's something that I'm currently working on. I have that awareness. Um, and I know I need to be possibly more um, careful with my time. So that's all from me and I'll see you next time. You take care. And as I say, um, in all my videos, don't forget me to leave me a comment. I would be really interested um, to hear maybe um, then maybe I'll ask you a question. I'll tell you what, comment on this. What's the one thing that you're spending too much time on that you need to drop and why? It could be a person, it could be um, a hobby that you're kind of half in and half out of. It could be um, seeing a neighbour that actually you've been doing for years and it started out of kindness but now you really need that time back for yourself because it's important for you to have downtime or spend time with your family. Um, you know, things that are not used to give up. Um, and I'm not advocating we should be selfish all the time, but I'd really be interested to hear your comments. And of course, do feel free to subscribe. We bring a uh, uh, video full of value almost every day. Um, these are free videos, guys, and it's just for me to share all the information and kind of the revelations that I'm having along my journey uh, as a young entrepreneur, and um, trying to find my way in life, feeling very lost, and hopefully um, helping other people to stay clear of the pitfalls I've fallen into and um, whether you are someone who's going into business or whether you are just someone who is looking around their life and thinking that it looks great but for some reason you're not as fulfilled as you could be and you're, you're just you're just wanting to know what's missing and how you can um, have more of whatever makes you happy and, and find that path that's all from me and I'll see you tomorrow you take care bye now